Hey, everyone, and welcome to the Defining Your Life podcast, where we focus on living in our purpose, practicing presence, and activating our power in each moment. I'm Marsha Rell, your resident pep talk provider, and I invite you to join me as we continue to learn, lift each other up, and strive to level up together. Because we are never finished defining our lives, and it takes a village, so let's build one. Stay tuned for the episode. Hey everyone, I hope that all is well and that you have gained a greater appreciation and found some time for solitude this week. Quiet, stillness, peace, solitude. These are all reminders that life has so much to offer, even from something that may seem so little or insignificant. So tap into it and see what you discover about yourself through the gift of solitude. Now, while this whole podcast is pretty much devoted to finding the best within ourselves and others, and of course, self-improvement, today I want to spend some time talking about the true challenge that is change. We spend a lot of time talking about all the things that we can do if we implement change and its benefits We temporarily adopt new habits that we hope will help us reach our change goals. And sometimes we put them down just as quickly as we pick them up. Change sounds good. It sounds really good when we're in the midst of convos or watching something inspiring, getting all hyped up, right? We're pumped. We're feeling like we can do it. But then we step out of those moments those convos with ourselves or others. Maybe we made promises to ourselves that we would change and maybe to someone else too. And deep down, we really want to, but then we don't. Why? I'm the first to admit that I love talking about change and fantasizing about the possibilities that it can bring. I mean, I love change. I love working toward it. But let's be honest. Can we take a moment to acknowledge that it's hard, y'all? It can be mad hard to change. Sometimes new things are exciting. Sometimes they're terrifying. Other times, we're just too lazy to do anything different, right? But that doesn't mean we should stop trying, stop getting back up and giving it another go. There may be times when we receive feedback from others about behaviors that we probably should change, and sometimes we aren't very receptive. Have you ever said or heard someone else say, this is just my personality. This is who I am. They are just going to have to deal with it. (laughs) I mean, I'm making light of it right now, but when we say things like that, Are we behaving as someone who is receptive to and open to change and embracing periods of self-reflection? Maybe you need a little solitude in your life to help you through the process, right? (laughs) And if you are responding in such a defensive way, is it possible that maybe you actually see the perspective of the person who brought this thing to your attention, but you just don't want to be faced with that challenge? Now, of course, there are fundamental parts of our personalities that make up the very essence of who we are. And maybe we love every single one of those fundamental parts. But oftentimes, when we get down to it, we don't necessarily love every part. And that's okay. It means we want to do and be better. Being open to change and improvement doesn't mean that we don't love ourselves, but that we open our arms and minds to the improvements that will help us become elevated versions of ourselves that we strive for both out loud and in private. That constructive criticism that we receive from others, nine times out of 10, it doesn't feel good because it proves that our deficiencies are visible to someone else. But not every time someone shares constructive criticism or their feelings about us isn't an automatic attack on us or them trying to break us down. 
and we don't always need to respond on the defense or get all riled up. Sometimes we got to take a seat, eat a slice of that humble pie, digest it, and move forward with a spirit of change because we know it's right. Everyone out here is not trying to harm you. When you acknowledge the existence of your deficiencies and work toward change in a positive light, you are free. No one can break you because not only do you know who you are, but you own it in the presence of others. And when they see you doing the work, see the change, no one will be able to touch you. In fact, you become a magnet attracting the good that you longed and worked for. So I want to invite you into the change challenge with me. What's one thing that you know deep down is something that you need to work on? Maybe it's not so deep because, I don't know, your sister or somebody told you about yourself and you didn't want to hear it because maybe they didn't say it in the most loving way. Don't read into this, y'all. It's not a true story. (laughs) This is super hypothetical. I'm just trying to paint a relatable picture here. But anyway, you can worry about telling that person, whomever it is, that they could have presented that information in a better way at a later time. Focus on you right now. Don't deflect. What can you take from that uncomfortable exchange that you can use to push you forward. And maybe no one actually told you about yourself at all. Maybe there's something that you've been holding quietly to yourself because you don't want anyone to hold you accountable for that change goal. What is that thing, that challenging change that you are ready to take on? I'll share my thing with y'all. Well, one of my things, maybe my tone can be a little off sometimes when I'm talking to folks, specifically loved ones. I know, I know, unbelievable, right? (laughs) But I'll admit, I can be a little snarky from time to time. And while my family enjoys healthy, sarcastic banter overall, it can bleed over into not so nice. So while I admittedly enjoy sarcasm, I also care for others deeply. And so I know that I need to watch my words and my tone. I'm pretty sure I shared that communication is on our family vision board at some point in the in the past, but it just keeps coming up in different ways for me, y'all. <laughs> so here we go again with vulnerability. I literally just had an aha moment about that and realized that I sometimes use said sarcasm as a defense mechanism. You know, you got to keep those emotions in the pocket. I don't have time to be giving them out all (laughs) willy-nilly. So that is the challenging change that I'd like to tackle. Did I mention that it's hard? I've clearly been down this road before. And while I believe I have made some improvements, it's not good enough to say, I did enough, or I quit, or this is just who I am. They're going to have to deal with it. (laughs) But what does that say about my character and how I value others if I do take that road? Because then my actions and my words don't add up. A little attitude here or there may not seem to do much damage, but whatever we do in this life, good or bad, The cumulative matters. If you dig a little every day, you actually dig a lot over time. So let's not dig deep holes. Let's climb tall mountains instead. What's a challenging change that you would like to face? What's something that you wholeheartedly know you can't or don't want to say that's good enough to, or I quit? or they'll just have to accept it. Something that impacts you on your day-to-day. Write it down, face it, create a reverse affirmation for it. I'm not sarcastic or snarky. Instead, I'm gonna say, 
I speak life and love into everyone that I encounter, especially those who are closest to me. You got to flip it, y'all. I'd love to hear what you're working on because the work never stops, right? We have to keep challenging ourselves, cultivating, weeding, doing all the things it takes to become precious vessels ourselves and highlight the beauty in others as well. I'll leave you with a few words from George Bernard Shaw today. Those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. Thanks for listening. And if what you've been hearing has been beneficial to you, remember to share, review, subscribe, and rate. Not only does it mean a lot to me, it increases visibility so that we have a larger reach and can grow our village. So thank you in advance for playing your part in the village. And I can't wait to chat with you all again next week. Take care until then.